What is going on everybody? Excitedly X. And starting off, I know I've I've been slacking and I'm sorry. Uh man, I I really want to get into the weekly habit, but I just I've been slacking <laughs> and sorry. <laughs> but anyways, here is another fish update. So I just looked at my last update. And it's been a month since I recorded an update. Dang, that that makes me a little upset because I try to try to do it weekly. But anyways, last I seen they were fry that were barely born. Yeah, they're not in there anymore. What I did was I took all my oldest fry and put them in this tank, which is. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I think five females and one male, which is the. I bred that male and he looks so cool. The one with the yellow and black right there. I wonder how old he is. I'm not sure. And uh, one of the fries, I couldn't get him out of the little breeder box, so he's in here. Where is he? Let me look for him. I don't. Oh, there he, he's just up there. If you can see how small he is compared to the other ones, so there's one of like the youngest fry, just hanging out with them. Uh, the adults haven't messed with them or anything. He's been in there for probably a week now, maybe even longer. Anyways, so in here are my not the youngest not the second young oh yeah these are the second youngest and one big fry I don't know if you guys can tell there's one this one right here he's one of my oldest I need to move him over to the 20 gallon just haven't really got to it anyways so these are the second youngest probably about 15 20 fry that are probably two months old around there so they're in here growing so, and it sucks though because this plant like algae and everything is just not doing too hot so I don't know what to do about that I might end up ripping that leaf off because these leaves see if you can tell from this side it's doing all right it's just that that leaf and the one behind it I think because that's like what gets the light the most getting pretty overwhelmed by algae and this plant too it sucks I don't know why it's dying but I don't know used to love this tank but if you can see I don't know how to get this off I don't know what this is from maybe the like the water level when it got low but yeah I don't know that's frustrating to me because the fry like to hang out at the top like look if you look at the bottom you can't really see any around the, at the bottom I like to hang out at the top I haven't fed them in a few hours so I should probably feed them again but yeah I moved all the fry that were in the 20 gallon the, these are the youngest fry I moved them all into this 10 gallon which is also something I need to put more work into because the plants are looking to kinda eh I don't know, but yeah, it's a lot more room so they can actually grow. I, I want to say there's about 20 fry in here, and I put a sponge filter with a 10 gallon air pump in this one, and this one's ran by a 20 gallon air air pump. So it's, they're pretty filtrated, and I change the water in them pretty often. About once a week, I do like a 30% cha uh, water change around there so I think that's all oh and another update about the little tub downstairs I took out all the heaters and everything and I'm just gonna wait because I had a 100 watt and a 50 watt, uh, 50 watt heater in it and it still was too cold 
But right now where I live, it's starting to get a little warmed up. So I might go down and because it's still the water still. Sorry, <laughs> it was looking at my camera. I was just looking at the other tank, but uh, the tank still filled up and everything. The water's in there, so it's cycled. It's just not warmed up. So maybe in a maybe in a I don't know few weeks here when it starts to get warm enough where I probably won't even need the heaters then I'll probably put like these fry it down there and then move these move all these fry into this so then whenever they have more fry I can put the youngest fry in this tank so this tank will be always will always be the youngest fry if you know what I mean and yeah, it's cool how I got this little cycle going on. And I try to feed them just crushed up flakes pretty much as often as I can, especially with the with the fry. You can feed them like small amounts a lot during the day, so they're like always eating pretty much, I guess. Can't really overfeed them unless you just like fill the whole top layer with with food. So I haven't had any haven't had any fry die or anything so I guess I'm doing something right yeah so that's about it for this I'm pretty sure I don't know what else to add yeah, that's pretty it pretty much it so if you, uh, I know I got a bunch I got a bunch of people like this is such a random series I'm not random series but compared to my channel, my channel is like video games and stuff and I just randomly pick this up and I get more people asking for fish updates than I do for like most of my video game series that I have going on. So thanks guys for watching. It's really cool to me, especially when other people in the fish hobby who are doing the same thing as me are liking my videos. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.